Chapter 4 Surface Well Testing Overview When performing well tests, the following items must be addressed. Requirements of dynamic conditions. Type and layout of surface testing equipment. Equipment needed to collect samples at the surface. Safety requirement. Creation of a pressure disturbance depends on whether the reservoir is producing or shut in. If the well has been shut in for a long time, is to flow the reservoir, this is called drawdown. If the well has been flowing for a long time, is to shut in the well, this is called buildup. Surface testing equipment must safely and reliably perform a wide range of functions. Quickly control pressure and flow rates at the surface and shut in the well. Separate the effluent into three separate fluids, oil, gas and water, accurately meter the fluids, collect and separate solids as applicable. Collect surface samples. Dispose of the resulting fluids in an environmentally safe manner. This picture shows a complete well testing package. Surface well testing equipment. In order to handle the well effluent at surface, a standard set of surface well testing equipment should include the following. Flow head. Safety valve. Sand filters. Choke manifold. Emergency shutdown, ESD. Heat exchanger. Separator. Gauge or surge tank. Transfer pump. Oil and gas manifolds. Burners and booms. The flow head controls the well pressure. The choke manifold controls the flow and the pressure. The heater, or steam exchanger, is used to raise the effluent temperature to fight hydrates in gas wells, and to break emulsion, or to reduce foam and viscosity in oil wells, and improve burning. The separator is used to separate, meter and sample, the three phases of the effluent. The gauge or surge tank is used to store oil, to calibrate the liquid meters, to measure the shrinkage and low liquid flow rate. The transfer pump is used to empty the tank and to ensure proper atomization pressure for clean burning at the burner head. The oil is disposed of through the burner located at the extremity of the booms to reduce heat radiations towards the rig. The gas is burned separately through a gas flare located on the burner booms. The various elements of the surface well testing chain are interconnected with piping, generally flexible between flow head and choke manifold, and rigid elsewhere. Flexible piping. 1. High pressure flexible hose, ended with Wico Union or Greylock connections, is used between flow head and choke manifold. It is called coflexip. 2. Low pressure flexible rubber hoses, ended with Wico Union connections, are generally used for air and water lines. High pressure flexible hose, coflexip, is used between flow head and choke manifold to allow up and down movement of the DST string during DST tools operations, keeping the flow line connected to the burner via the choke manifold. Long length available, 40 feet or 60 feet, which reduces the number of seals and risks of rupture or leak. Coflexip hoses are heavy, and the use of a crane is mandatory to rig it up safely. To respect the MBR, minimum bending radius, a couple of elbows, may be used both ends of the coflexip hose. Rigid piping. Rigid piping are generally ended with Wico Union connections or Greylock for high pressure lines. Generally, straight piping are often 1 meter, 3 meters or 5 meters long. Elbows are often 90 degree. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of today's presentation. In the next video presentation, Chapter 5, you will learn about well testing layout. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one.